Hey guys, Mish here from Mish's XL Garage. Today I want to demonstrate how easy and simple it is to install the short shifter and then also make the adjustments required. All right, so this is how you do it. You've got your shifter here, the old one's already out. Sit the shifter down, make sure the bottom bush, the little one locates in the bottom there. Get your bolt, push that through from the front, line it up, beautiful. Then we have the spacer with the bush on it. That's gonna go on there first. I'm gonna get this spring. A little bit tricky to put on sometimes. Once you've done a few lock I have, it does get a bit easier. Easiest way to do it, sit it on there, get that side to sit there, flick that over, push it in, boom, she's located. Next, another little bush that'll go on. Flat washer, spring washer, then the nut. Okay, now once that's all tight, you'll see that uh, we'll uh, Set this cable on to the actual shifter there. There's a couple of simple adjustments here with the actual cables themselves before we even look at adjusting the shifter or the stoppers. What we want to do is make sure that the cables haven't been adjusted previously or maybe you know they're a bit worn or something like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to take these little clips out, uh, which you would have already done when you took the shifter out, but uh, just to give you an idea, easiest way to get them out, just stretch that top, unhook it, and out she comes. All right. We're going to pull this cable off. What we want to see is when we push this shifter side to side and we find it's neutral position, we want to be able to push this cable on without having to, to move the shifter to, to move it, all right? So this one here is slightly out. So what we're going to do, I've already loosened these two locking nuts off, but quite simply what we do is we hold that and turn this middle nut here, which is the adjuster. So we can twist that and it'll make it longer or shorter. Find your desired length where, it, as I said, it just slides straight onto there. So as you can see there, it slides straight on without any issue. Once you've got that part set, put your pin back in, lock that in, grab yourself a couple of spanners, lock these two nuts up. Make sure you hold this middle part, all right, when you, uh, when you do it, otherwise you're just gonna bind up the cable. Lock that one up. Now we're gonna lock that one up, and there we go. So that one's all, all done, happy days. All right, now for the more fidgety one, which is the main throw from you know, first, second, third, fourth, and so on is making sure we get that in the perfect pivot position. What we need to make sure is we've actually got the shifter again with this part here in its middle position. So we don't have too much throw forward or too much throw backwards. Now, best way to do this, make sure your two stoppers are wound all the way off. So when you actually put the gear lever in first or second, it doesn't make contact with the, with the stoppers. Now, the only way to adjust that to get it into the middle position is very same as that one there. We're going to adjust this uh, adjuster here. So you can see our stoppers here. All right, that's that one, that one. What we're looking at is to make sure we've got an even gap between the front one and the back one. So when you look at this one here, you can actually physically see and feel that's a lot closer than what that one there is. So what that's telling me now is that we need to adjust the cable to make the shifter come further back, which will then push that stopper further forward, which will give you an e even spacing. So to do that adjustment, wind these locking nuts back, and then we're going to turn this to shorten the throw. See how it's all looking. That needs to go a little bit more. Okay, so that to me looks pretty much spot on. So now, again, just like the other one, because we've got that spot on, we can now lock these nuts up. Again, two spanners. Make sure you're holding one while you're locking the other one in. So there we have it. One, another really good tip, once you've made those adjustments, just to make sure that you haven't put extra tension on the cables or anything, is just make sure you can pull, slide it off the cable and make sure it's in its horizontal position. It's not like twisted like this, all right? Because what that'll do is just put extra strain on the, uh, on the cable as we go. Put the locking clip in. All right, so these two adjustments are done. Side to side shifter movement's done. Forward and back throw is done. Now we want to work on adjusting these stoppers. So this step here, adjusting the stoppers for the overthrow, is quite simple. What we're going to do, you can have it either in first or third, doesn't really matter. Uh, both, obviously, are going to give you the same throw. So what we're going to do while we're holding it in third or first, we're going to wind this bolt out until it just makes contact with the shifter. So you'll, you'll see when it makes contact with the shifter because it'll actually push it and you'll actually feel it on your hand and physically sort of see it. So what we do is we touch it, make it just touch, then we get the spanner in here, we adjust the nuts, 
it on the back here. Lock in. All right, now the only other thing I like to do is when you've adjusted it and it's just touching it, what we want to do is make it just touch and then I actually want to back it off half of a turn, okay? So we go half a turn, there we go. Now the purpose of backing it off half a turn is the variables that you come across when you're doing gear changes, flexing a cable, a little bit of flex in a bush, a little bit of movement in the gearbox. If you adjust it and it only just, and it makes contact with the uh, stopper straight away, sometimes you'll actually miss select the gear. It just won't engage far enough. So by doing that extra half a, lot, half a turn back, that, that will prevent that from happening. All right, then exactly the same with the front stopper. Put it in either second, fourth, whichever. Same thing, we want to wind up that bolt. So it just touches the shifter and then back it off half a turn, lock up the locking nut. Now we've locked all those in position, shifter's ready to rock and roll. Once you've set up your gear shifter, and some people might experience a bit of extra slop still in the gear lever, it could be a, a combination of things, it could be one simple thing. So what we'd like to do, if you put the car into gear, and you can wobble your shifter side to side way more than what we can here, you've got an issue somewhere along the line. What I wanna to show to you in a moment is how to check the gearbox for extra wear, how to check your cables for wear, and if any of those are worn, how you go about rectifying that problem. So to check your slop in your cables, or to, slip, to check to see if there's any slop in your gearbox, it is a two-man job. Ideally what you want is you want someone sitting in the car here, pushing your shifter side to side, very gently, and then someone under the bonnet checking the cables and the, and the top of the gearbox selector to see if there's any play in it. Here's my little assistant. Are you ready to help me? Yeah. All right, let's hop in the car. You can see how you've got the cables moving here, you've got your selector up the top here moving, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for excessive wear in these bushes here, okay? So normally if that bush is really worn, you'll actually see a lot of cable movement and not much movement in the actual shaft itself. That's your side to side movement. The next movement we're gonna check is your backwards and forwards motion. Pull the gear lever down. So this next movement, as you can see, is actually pushing the gear shifter in your like, uh, like second or third motion, but just wobbling it while it's actually there. So what you'll see is when you get a worn one, you see I've got a little, couple of little tack welds on the top here. The reason for that is that the actual pin that goes through the top of the selector here, they wear. Sometimes you can't actually get them out without having to destroy them. So what we do is we just put a couple of little tack welds on the top here, which then holds all that in place and reduces that slop. Very common to sort of see extra movement in there. So if you have an issue with that, that that's how we rectify that one. All right, what we've got here is a set of shifter cables out of the car. It's just a little bit easy to show you the where factor is and, and how you go about it. I've already removed one of the bushes. You see here, one of the factory ones is already in here. Sometimes when you pull these off, you'll see the rubber is absolutely deteriorated. They may actually literally fall out by themselves. There might even be a bush in there. I've, I've seen cars with no bushes in them at all. So what we do to uh, alleviate this issue is we actually fit some ball bearings, all right? Some roller bearings. Fantastic way, get rid of the rubber. No, no need for any slop or any movement. Quite simple. I'll show you how to remove the bush and then I'll show you how to put the bush in. You can obviously, if you've got the cables out, you can do this in a vice. Uh, you can, it'll be a lot easier. We have the option when you're in the car, use a G-clamp, just get a flat blade screwdriver, stick it inside here. You'll actually be able to lever, pivot, and voila, the bush comes out. With a rag, just give it a bit of a wipe, a bit of a clean, make sure your bearing's clean as well. Now these bearings, we supply them. Uh, they are a direct perfect fit for these. Get G-clamp. Now sometimes getting it square is a bit tricky. We'll give it a couple of goes here. There we go, back it off. Voila, beautiful. We've now solved any extra slop that you may get in your gear shifter. The ease of not taking these cables out of the car, doing these while they're in the car, simple G-clamp, screwdriver. Two very simple tools to do it. Uh, anyone with any questions about anything I've run through here today, give me a call, put a comment, send me a message. All the parts, the sh short shifter, the bearings, we supply them all. We also offer a fitting service as well. If you're local, you're at the track, you've got any of my products, you want a hand to adjust them, you want a hand to fit them, come and see me. I'll send either one of my guys or I'll come and, and I'll help you out with it.